And we'll just place the hands onto your lap and we'll just start to settle in to your mat and now all the craziness that's going on we'll just uh, close the door on that metaphorically speaking and just start to feel the spine lengthen and the shoulders drop down and closing the eyes down we'll just focus on the breath start to bring yourself to center focusing on the breath Bring your awareness to your heart space and feeling the breath expanding the lungs as we start to engage that ujjayi breath, that centering breath that starts to focus your attention and your awareness, starts to focus the mind and starts to bring some heat into the body as we start to slow everything down. Deep inhale and an exhale. As we take your next inhale, reach the arms all the way up to the crown of the head. Hands come to prayer and then draw that energy down towards the heart space from the sky as though you were pulling energy and wisdom and intuition and insight down towards you down into you. We take an inhale and as we exhale gently taking a bow in reverence to the space that you're creating for yourself this morning and for the learning and the progress and the nourishment that you're about to embark on that's purely for you. Namaste. As we reach the hands folding forward into a tabletop position, we bring the knees underneath the, uh, underneath the hips, <clears throat> the hands underneath the shoulders. We start to tuck the toes under, draw the belly in as we round through the top of the back. Exhaling, lengthening the spine, drop the belly to the floor, look up. We inhale, draw the belly in, round through the top of the back. Exhale, drop the belly to the floor. Inhale, draw the belly in for cat. Exhale, drop the belly to the floor for cow. Two more, we inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, drop the belly down to the floor. And then we come back through to a neutral spine. Eye gaze is just 45 degrees forward of the fingertips. We're doming the top of the back, belly buttons drawing to the spine. We reach the right arm, yawn it all the way up to the sky. We then exhale, interlace the arm underneath the left hand and drop the back of the shoulder to the floor. Deep breath in as we draw the shoulders away from the ears, really push down into the left palm. Feel the top of the back opening as we twist. Still engaging that ujjayi breath, a slight restriction at the back of the throat. Exhale. We inhale. As we exhale, let's yawn that arm open to the sky and then place the hand down on the floor. Inhaling, lengthen the left arm up to the sky. And exhale, reach the left arm underneath the right. Back of the shoulder presses into the floor. Deep inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. We then reach the arm all the way back up to the sky. And we come back down to hands being underneath the shoulders in neutral. We inhale, keeping the toes tucked under. Let's lift the knees about three inches off the floor and we'll just hold here in a little hover for three. Exhale. Inhale for two. Exhale. Inhale for one. 
As we exhale, lift the sit bones high, keeping the knees slightly bent. We press the heels towards the floor. Absolutely fine if they don't quite reach the floor. We're still keeping the knees bent. We're pressing the chest towards the thigh bones and press the shoulders away from the ears. Continue to draw the belly in and feel the strength in the arms as they squeeze towards your ears. The inside seam of the arms right from the index finger knuckle along the thumb joint up the inside of the forearm through the elbows, the top of the arm squeezes in towards the ears. So we take an inhale, tilt the sit bones a little higher as we come up onto the tippy toes. Start to walk the feet forward towards the front of the mat. And then bringing the big toe mounds to touch, we inhale, halfway lift, flat back, hands come to the shin bones. We press the chest forward to the top of the mat through the arms. Squeeze the outer edges of the hips together, inside seam of the thighs together, belly button draws in, activating all the way through the arms, the back, the legs, the glutes, down through the feet, the balls of the feet, transfer the weight forward. We then exhale, forward fold, keeping the knees slightly bent, forehead to knee. Interlace the fingers behind your back. Squeeze the heel of the hands together as we lengthen the arms forward overhead. Feel that stretching opening through the shoulders. And let the forehead fully release to the floor. We inhale. As we exhale, release the fingers. Bowling ball the arms through from the floor up to the sky in your Utkatasan chair. Shoulders draw away from the ears. We're hugging the outer edges of the hips in. Exhale. We inhale. And exhale. Inhale. One more. As we exhale, let's stretch the knees. Hands come to heart press center. Squeeze the glutes. And transfer the weight over the balls of the feet. Just lay it lightly hover the heels off the floor. So we make sure that we're aligned. Shoulders draw away from the ears. Maybe close the eyes down for a moment to center. We inhale. Exhale, reach the prayer to the sky. Inhale, hands come down through heart press center. We exhale, hinge at the hips. Flat back to the floor, hands in prayer, and then forward fold, forehead to knees. Inhale, halfway lift, hands come to the shin bones, pressing back to the back of the mat. We exhale, plant the hands, step the right leg back in long lunge, left leg back to meet it, high plank. We lower the knees to the floor. We lengthen the chest forward as we untuck the toes, squeeze the elbows in, belly draws in. Exhale, lower the chest and the chin to the floor. We press straight back up into your baby chaturanga. Lower the chest and the chin to the floor. Exhale. Inhale, press straight up. Two more, belly in. Exhale. And press. Last one, we exhale. Lower the belly to the floor. Press the chest forward as we lift into baby cobra. Shoulders draw away from the ears. Exhale, lower forehead down, tuck the toes under, keeping the knees connected to the floor, tailbones pushing towards the heels, pubic bone pushes into the floor. We ground down through the palms as we come up into a baby chaturanga. Lift the knees off the floor, high plank. We inhale, lift the sit bones high, and as we exhale, press through into your downward dog. Three deep breaths here. We inhale for one. Exhale. Inhale for two. Exhale. Inhale for one. As we exhale, lengthen and lift the right heel all the way to the sky. Bend the knee taking the heel towards the glute. We yawn the hips open, stacking right on top of left. Press the right shoulder to the floor. 
heel flexes back towards the glute firmly. We inhale, exhale, press the chest towards the left long bone of the thigh. Inhale, exhale, one more, we inhale squeezy glutes. As we exhale, draw the knee in through tiger pose, nose to knee, place the foot between the hands, back heel plugs down. We inhale, reach the arms to the sky, warrior one. Taking three deep breaths here, plugging the back pinky toes down into the floor, squeeze the belly in, squeeze the glutes, reach the arms away from you as far as possible as you sink low into the front thigh. We inhale. Exhale. Keep scanning through the body, back leg, front leg, belly, shoulders, fingertips. We then exhale, frame the front foot. Step the right leg back into your high plank, lower the knees, untuck the toes, lower the chest, chin, scoop the belly forward into baby cobra. We exhale, forehead to floor, tuck the toes, press through high plank, Lift the sit bones high, downward dog. We inhale. Exhale, lengthen the left heel to the sky. Toes back towards the shin bone, bending the knee. We yawn the hip open, stacking left hip on top of right. Feeling the stretch along the front of the left hip into the top of the thigh. Press the left shoulder to the floor. Squaring the shoulders off, lined to the front of the mat, we ground down through the ball of the right foot, belly draws in, squeezy butt cheeks. And exhale. We inhale. Exhale. Flexi toes on the left foot, one more, squeeze the heel. We then inhale, draw the knee in through tiger pose, nose to knee. Place the foot between the hands, back heel plugs down, inhale, warrior one. We square the shoulders off, reach the fingertips away from you as far as possible. Sink low into that front thigh, plug the pinky toe of the back foot down, squeeze the butt cheeks. Belly draws in, we inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more, we inhale. As we exhale, frame the front foot with control. Step back into your high plank. Lower, knees, chest, chin, or full Chaturanga Dandasana. Roll through into your baby cobra or up dog. Exhale, roll over the toes, down dog. Taking an inhale for three. Exhale. Inhale for two. Exhale. Inhale for one. As we exhale, squeeze the glutes together. We lengthen the right heel to the sky, ground down through the palms. We stack the hips, yawning right on top of left. Squeeze the heel towards the glute. Inhale, draw the right knee in through tiger pose, nose to knee, place it between the hands, back heel plugs down. We circle the left arm over into warrior two. Back foot lines up to the back of the mat. Sink low into the front thighs. We press the right knee back, bum cheeks squeeze together, belly draws in, shoulders are down. For three. Exhale deeply for two. Exhale. Feel the body breathing. Inhale. As we exhale, circle the arms to frame the front foot. Step the right leg back into your high plank, lower Chaturanga Dandasana. Roll through into up dog. Thighs off the floor, shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, roll over the toes, downward dog. We inhale, lengthen the left heel to the sky, bend the knee. We yawn the hip open, stacking left on top of right. Press the left shoulder to the floor. 
Inside seam of the right leg is lifting from the arch of the foot and lengthening to the groin. Squeeze the outer edges of the hip on that right leg towards the thigh bone. Exhale. We inhale, draw the left foot in through tiger pose. Place the foot between the hands. Back heel plugs down 45 degrees. We circle the right arm through to warrior two as the back foot aligns to the back of the mat. Three deep breaths here. We inhale. Exhale, sink low. Inhale, belly button tucks in. And we're pushing the pubic bone to the right edge of the mat. Exhale. We inhale, reach the fingertips away from the center line. Exhale, circle the right arm to frame the front foot. Step the left leg back, lower through Chaturanga Dandasana. Scoop through into your up dog. We exhale, roll over the toes, downward dog. We take a deep breath in as we lift the heels, bend the knees. Start to walk the hands backwards towards the toes. We inhale and to lace the fingers behind the back. Squeeze the heel of the hands together as we reach the arms forward overhead and transfer the weight over the balls of the feet as we lengthen the back line of the legs. Feel the belly expand as you breathe. Feel the rib cage expand sideways. And as we exhale, let's release the fingers. Walk the hands out towards the top of the mat. Flat back, high plank. We lower Chaturanga Dandasana. Scoop through into your up dog. Roll over the toes, exhale, down dog. We inhale, lengthen right heel to the sky. Draw the knee in through tiger pose. Place the foot between the hands, back heel plugs down. Reach the fingers to the sky, warrior one. We exhale, open the arms, warrior two. Inhale, stretch the front knee, reach the right fingertips forward, and over into your Trikonasana, left fingers to the sky. We lengthen the spine as we push the left hip towards the left edge of the mat, middle of the back towards the right edge of the mat. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. We're plugging the pinky toe of the back foot down Exhale. One more. As we exhale, look down to the tippy toes, bend the front knee, return warrior two. We inhale, flip the front palm, reverse the warrior. We then exhale, circle the arms to frame your front foot. Stretch the front knee as we lower the back heel down 45 degrees for your pyramid pose. Lengthen the spine. We exhale, fold forward as we square the hips off. So we're drawing the left hip forward, right hip back. Inhale, <clears throat> exhale. We then inhale. Bend into your long runner's lunge. Bring the hands to your heart press center. We twist. Left elbow over the right knee. Option to lower the back knee down if you choose. If it's more stable for you, that's fine. Or keep it lifted. Keep it active. Belly draws in. We draw the heel of the hands towards your right hip. Shoulders down, lift the chest. Belly draws in a little deeper again. And then exhale. One more. Exhale. And taking an inhale, we draw the hands to your heart press center, reach the fingers to the sky, crescent lunge. We frame the front foot, step the right leg back, high plank, lower chaturanga. Scoop up dog. Roll over the toes, exhale down dog. Cleansing breath. 
Exhale. We inhale, draw the shoulders away from the ears and separate the shoulder blades to the outer edges of the mat. We inhale, lengthen the left heel to the sky. Draw the knee in through tiger pose, place the foot between the hands. Lower the back heel down 45 degrees, reach the fingers to the sky, warrior one. We exhale, open the arms, warrior two. Sink low, belly in, pubic bone lifts. We inhale, stretch the front knee, reach the fingertips forward before we tip over into your trikonasana. Long line from the middle of the top fingers, down through the arms, the shoulders, down the left arm to the floor. Inside seam of both legs is activating towards the groin from the floor. There's a lift and a lift through the under rib cage as we lengthen the spine. Inhale. Feel the lightness here. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more. As we exhale, look down to the toes, bend the front knee, return warrior two. We inhale, flip the front palm, reverse your warrior, stay low in that front thigh. We then exhale to frame your front foot, step your back foot in slightly and then place the foot down on a 45 degree angle, stretching the front knee. We lengthen the spine flat back to the floor. Hands can tickle the floor or be on the shin bone. And forward fold pyramid. Keep squeezing the left hip towards the right hip. And the right hip towards the left. Outer edges of those hips are engaged and squeezing together to stabilize. There's activity down through the feet. Feel the pressure into the floor at the soles of the feet. We inhale, lengthen the spine. Bend forward, front lunge. Hands come to heart press center. Option to lower back knee down or keep it lifted as we twist. Right elbow over left knee. We inhale. Exhale. Heel of the hands draws towards the left hip. Inhale. Exhale. Back thigh straight and strong. Just notice if your back leg is slightly inactive. Really make sure that it is strong and activated. Engaged muscles 360 degrees around the long bones of the thighs and the shins. We inhale. As we exhale, hands come to heart press center, reach the fingers to the sky, crescent lunge, look up, reach up, shoulders down. We frame your front foot, step the left leg back, high plank, lower chaturanga dandasana, scoop through into your up dog. We roll over the toes, exhale, downward dog. Beautiful, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. We take an inhale, one more. As we exhale, lengthen and lift the right heel to the sky. We draw the knee in through tiger pose, place the foot between the hands. Hands come to heart press, center lunge. We float the back leg into warrior three. As we lift and lengthen the back thigh and lift and lengthen the heart and chest. Option to reach the arms back behind you as you squeeze the shoulder blades together. Or keep the hands at prayer. Inhale. Option as well to maybe take a slight bend in the standing leg. If you're feeling a little unstable, this can help to activate those glutes and switch everything on. Belly in. One more deep breath. We lower the back leg down to the floor, reach the fingertips to the sky. We then take left palm down, right arm up, 
As we come into your Vashistasana side plank, stepping the right leg on top of the left, lift the hips. We inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. If you notice that you're shaking, just breathe a little deeper. Inhale. As we exhale, lower the right hand to the floor, lower Chaturanga Dandasana, keeping the hips up. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhaling, lengthening the heels towards the back of the mat, maybe even winging them to the edges of the mat slightly as we tilt the pelvis higher. We inhale, lengthen the left heel to the sky. Draw the knee in through tiger pose. Place the foot between the hands. Back knee stays strong and active. Belly in. Hands to prayer. Inhale, transfer the weight forward over the ball of the front foot. Float the back leg, warrior three. Option to take a slight bend in that standing leg if you need to stabilize. Inhale. Exhale, back leg super strong and straight. Ankle is active, toes are active. One more deep breath. We inhale. And gently float the back leg down to the floor, reach the fingers to the sky, crescent lunge, back thigh is strong and active. We take the right palm inside left foot, roll onto the blade edge of your back foot, reach the left fingers to the sky, Step left on right, side plank. Vashistasana for three. Exhale. For two. Exhale. For one. Now as we exhale, lower the left hand to the floor. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale up dog. And bending the knees, we'll press back into your child's pose. Lengthen the forehead to the floor. And take a couple of breaths here. Just let everything go. Just allow yourself to land on the mat. Do a quick scan, a gentle scan. From the big toes, up the legs, the hips, the belly, the shoulders, the face, down through to the fingertips. And when you're ready, We'll ground down through the palms of the hands, tuck the toes under, lift the sit bones high, and we'll come into your downward dog. You take a deep inhale. And a deep exhale, starting to walk the feet towards the top of the mat, taking the feet wide now to the edges of the mat. We'll drop the sit bones as we come into your Malasana squat or your yogi squat. Press the elbows onto the inside of the knees. Heel of the hands draws towards the belly button as the chest lifts. Elbows press outwards. Tailbone tucks under slightly and feel the little pinky toes grounding down through the floor. We have three. two, for one, we place the hands down onto the floor, extend the sit bones to the sky as we lengthen and align the feet to the edges of the mat, heel toe the feet back together towards each other, about hip width apart now. Grab hold of the big toe, second toe with the peace finger grip. We'll lengthen the spine, flat back to the floor. And forward fold for Parahastasana. 
Taking deep inhale. And exhale. And just gently rocking forward into the balls of the feet. And as you pull on that big toe, just notice the sensation shift at the back of the legs. And as we exhale, release the grip. Place the hands slightly forward of the toes. Slight bend in the knees will lengthen the spine. And then placing the hands down, bending the knees even deeper as we rise up onto the tippy toes. Place the knees inside the armpits, elbows squeeze in. You may wish to stay here or transfer forward into your crow pose or wherever you are at on your crow journey. If you feel confident enough to float the feet off the floor today, you can do so. If not, just keep them down. And then we'll bring the feet back together, big toe mounds to touch, bending the knees deeply. We'll circle the arms all the way above the crown of the head. Hands come to prayer. Taking an inhale, we draw the right foot either to the calf or into the thigh as we come for tree pose. Inhale. Exhale, so we want to make sure. And to make sure that these hips stay square to the front of the mat, wherever this knee ends up, so long as the hips are square, is absolutely fine. It's not so much about this side knee as it is about these hips staying square and we're grounding down through the ball of your standing leg. You may wish to close the eyes down if you choose. Exhale. We inhale, draw the right knee to the front of the hip. We then cross the ankle over the left knee, sink the sit bones low as we come into a figure four chair. Keep drawing the toes back towards the shin, lengthening the spine. You can draw the heel of the hands towards the belly button and press into the hands. Feel the muscles across the shoulders and the chest activate when you do that. For two. For one. We then stand strong and firm into that left leg. Lift the right knee high. Place the foot side by side. We inhale, reach the prayer to the sky. Perhaps a little mini back bend. As we exhale, hands to centre prayer. We inhale, draw the left foot into tree. And let's repeat that on the other side. Just focusing on the breath, that ujjayi breath. Option to close the eyes down if you choose. Just find your stillness. Find your grounding through the ball of the standing leg foot. The length through the spine and the back of the neck. We inhale. And as we exhale, draw the left knee to the front of the hip toes flex. Cross the ankle over the right knee, sink the sit bones, figure four chair. And press that left knee down. Keep drawing the toes back towards the face or rather to the shin bone. Spine is long and straight. The lower abdomen is engaged and drawing to the spine, belly in. Hands are drawing down towards the belly button. So there's this gathering in towards the center line as you sink the sit bones back and the crown of the head extends out from the center line. One more breath. Now as we exhale, stand strong and tall, lift the left knee high to the front of the hip and then we take the feet standing side by side. Inhale, reach the prayer to the sky. Little mini back bend. As we lengthen the shoulders away from the ears, lift the heart, lift the chest, belly draws in, squeeze the glutes to protect the lower back. 
We then exhale, forward fold, hinging at the hips. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the hands. Step your left leg back into your long lunge. Then draw the right shoulder inside right knee, coming down into a tight lizard pose. Lower the back knee to the floor if you choose. So we're hugging that knee into the shoulder quite considerably. It's not an opening of the hip today, more of a stretching of the under part of the thigh and the inner thigh. Lengthening the chest forward. Inhale. As we exhale, come back up onto those hands, frame your front foot, shift the sit bones back and draw the front toe back towards the face. And then folding forward for your half Hanumanasana, your half split. And then when you're ready, we'll start to slide that heel out away from you, moving into your full split, keeping the hips square. You can use a block underneath your front thigh if you choose underneath that hip. We're still keeping the back toes tucked under and the front toes drawing back towards the shin. Deep inhale. Exhale. So if it's the first full Hanumanasana or splits posture that you've done after some time off, just take it easy. Allow the breath to flow. We don't need to jam into this at all. Never want to jam into any postures. We just allow them to flow. Allow the body to gently open at its own pace. And as we exhale, let's frame that front leg. Draw the front heel back towards you. Let's remove the block if you had it there. Step the right leg back into your high plank. And then we'll just step the left leg forward now between the hands, lowering the back knee down to the floor. We'll take the left shoulder on the inside of the left foot and come down onto the forearms. Or you can come down forearms to a block as an option as well. If you can't quite get down all the way to the floor, that's okay. Keep squeezing the glutes here and keep squeezing the inner part of the left knee towards the shoulder. So it's still quite active. In fact, it's very active. Chest lengthening. And then come back up onto those hands, shift the sit bones back, drawing the toes back towards the face perhaps a slight bend in that front knees. We lengthen the spine and then taking the forehead, chest and nose to the knee. Half Hanumanasana. And when you're ready, we'll start to slide out into your full Hanumanasana. Hips staying square, the back toes still tucked under. We're not opening up through the hips. We're keeping everything really aligned to the top of the mat. Belly still drawing in, so everything's supported through this lower back. You may wish to close the eyes down, feel the shoulders are soft, so no tension holding in the upper part of the body. Everything's relaxed and calm, even if it doesn't quite feel like it right now. That's what you're saying to yourself as you breathe. Just let go. Relaxed and calm. The breath can flow. Beautiful, we exhale fully as we draw that front heel back in towards you, maybe remove the block. And framing the front foot, we'll step the left leg back into your high plank. 
Lift the sit bones high, coming into a downward dog high on the tippy toes. We then bend the knees. You can either step or lightly jump through to come to a seated position. The legs lengthen out in front of you. I've lost my microphone. We reach the arms all the way up to the sky and fold forward over those legs. Paschimottanasana. Lengthening the arms up to the sky, take the hands down beside and slightly behind the sit bones, uh, fingertips towards the toes. Squeeze the inner ankles together as we lift the hips, heart, chest, open through the shoulders, squeeze the shoulder blades together behind the body, look back to the top of the mat or directly up to the sky if you have any neck challenges. Lifting the hips a little higher, ground down through the balls of the feet, particularly the big toe mounds. We then gently lower the sit bones down. Hug the knees into the chest as we come to a hover on the sit bones, chest lifts. You can either flex the toes or point the toes. Belly draws in, knees hug in. Option to release the arms as we come into your boat pose. We inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. As we exhale, lower the right foot down to the floor, left foot down to the floor, reaching the fingertips forward. We gently, slowly lower down through the spine to laying down on the floor. Hands come beside you. Place the feet in a comfortable position. Aligning the heels to the sit bones, we'll tuck the tailbone under, flatten out the lower back as we roll up through the spine into your bridge. Squeeze the heel of the hands together. Shoulder blades squeeze together as we lift high. High through the hips, high through the chest, down in the arms. Shoulder blades squeeze together. Shoulders down away from the ears. Feel the breath flow. And as we exhale, release, and gently rolling down through the spine. We'll hug the knees into the chest, taking the forehead to the knees. Compress the top of the back into the floor, take the hands into a 90 degree position. We'll extend the legs up to the sky. Keep the belly pulling through to the spine. Taking a slight bend in the knees if you need to, or fully extending the legs. I'm going to take the knees over to the right side of the mat. Keep the control on the descent using your abdominals and keep the left shoulder down. Maybe look towards the left hand when you get to the floor. Belly draws in. We then bring the legs back up through center and then transfer through center to the other side. Use the control of the core and the breath. Back of the right shoulder stays plugged into the floor. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, come back through to center. Flexing the toes, we'll then cross the right ankle over the left knee. Thread the needle, hands come through your figure four shape with the legs and hug the left knee into the chest. Anchor the tailbone down. Back of the shoulders presses to the floor. Focus on the breath. And as we exhale, release, bring the knees back to your tabletop position, feel the belly engage. And then we cross the left ankle over the right knee. Interlace the fingers around the right knee. 
and draw that thigh in towards the chest. Press the left knee back, toes still flexed on both feet. Belly still pulling through to the spine, shoulders drawing down. Feel that spine compressing into the floor. And then we exhale, release. A little rock and roll up and down the spine a couple of times just to feel the massage. Right from the base of the spine, the bottom of the hips, all the way through to the top of the shoulders. So if you want to let those toes come back overhead into a mobile, moving, fluid plow, please feel free to do so. If they touch the floor, that's fine. If they don't quite touch the floor, that's also fine. Let's do one more. And then we come to laying on your back on the floor. Take the feet wide into happy baby pose. Deep breath in and exhale. When you're ready, extend the legs down to the floor. If you want to cover your eyes with a, an eye mask, if you have one handy, or a towel, maybe you want to turn your lights off in your room. Perhaps you have a blanket there you want to cover yourself with just to stay warm. And just find your stillness. Release everything, all the tension. All that held focus. Just let it all fall away now. And just surrender to this peaceful moment of having to do absolutely nothing. You have nothing to manage right now. You have nowhere to be. Nothing to do other than just focus on your breath. Just the breath. You can release your ujjayi breath if you choose or if you find that that's quite comforting and quite grounding still, you can maintain that engagement of the ujjayi breath. But if it feels strained or you feel like you're not able to breathe fully, expansively, then don't manage the breath at all, just allow it to flow. Perhaps start to tune in to your environment. Notice the subtle vibration maybe of the lights if they're on. Notice if there's any sounds in the distance. Notice your body on the floor. your breathing being laying on the floor. And starting to refine that subtle awareness of the small, distant, 
almost imperceivable things. But they are there if you look and if you're aware. Now shine your light of awareness on the big toes and scan all the way up the body. And from the fingertips scanning up towards the crown of the head. And here maintain the focus of awareness at the crown of the head. We'll take a deep inhale through this space. Exhale through the space. Begin to wiggle the fingers and toes. And we'll gently roll over to the right side. Come to a seated position when you're ready. And take your time, there's no need to rush. As we bring the hands to your palms down or up in your lap. You may wish to bring your hands to your heart prayer center. And just take a moment to check in with yourself, with your being, your energy, the mind, your heart space. And then as you move off the mat this morning, I wish you this sense of calm and the sense of peace for the rest of your day and until we see each other again in another class. Taking a bow. Namaste everyone. It's been a pleasure. <laughs>